I forgot to press record. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just did a whole talk and I didn't record it. Oh my gosh. I've just been standing here just doing my whole thing and it didn't record. You gotta be kidding me. How embarrassing is that? Thank gosh, no one's home right now. Anyways, here it is guys. Here's the lowdown. New announcements uh, that I just wanted to put out there for all of you about what I'm gonna be doing, uh, adding to the channel, things like that. As you can see, I've hit over a thousand subscribers and I just wanna say thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for you to tune in to watch me. I appreciate that and I don't take it for granted. So I'm going to make sure that these videos are, are good uh, and, and try to produce them even better uh, moving forward in the future. Uh, it does take a lot of time to go ahead and put it all together. It's not an easy process and I appreciate your patience with me, uh, your kind comments, uh, your subscribe, you know, people subscribing, your questions, your comments, your everything, right? It means, it means a lot, okay? And I will do my best to keep bringing good quality information, uh, motivational, adventure, uh, well, my definition of adventure, uh, things uh, that I think that you would enjoy, okay? So I will, I'll always continue to do that, okay? Um, now, if you're new to the channel, um, just again, hit the bell, right? The bell will let you know when, when uh, new videos uh, are uploaded, it's notifications out to your phone. So you can go ahead and do that. Uh, comment below in the videos, uh, what you want to see, what you like, uh, things maybe you don't like. I know some of my videos can be long, but there is, uh, I, I've been trying to add these, um, uh, chapters into the video. So if you go across the little bar at the bottom, you can see it's kind of chunked up a little bit. And if you just scroll through, you can get to different parts of the video. So I'm trying to incorporate some new things on those longer videos because, you know, I, I, I know not everybody has the time to, to watch like a half hour video. Uh, I know a lot of people say 15 minutes is a good number or 10 minutes is a good number. Well, I, there's just a lot that I like to, to pack in and I just want it to be, I just want it to be good. So if you guys want to comment and let me know, you know, a good length, uh, that would be great. At least it's something that I can kind of strive towards, maybe do like a, a shorter one uh, during the week, maybe even do a longer one later on, whatever it is. Uh, that's what I'm going to try to do. Okay. Um, there's another uh, one that uh, I'm going to do, and it's kind of like day in the life. Like what does my life look like with regards to work, life, um, running, how I fit it in, what I eat, all of those things. So I'll be putting some videos uh, together along those lines. There will be a Koros um, watch review uh, out there. There also is going to be another review on my Torin, my Ultra Torin 4.0s. Yes, I am still running in them. And yeah, there's a lot to talk about. So there will be another one of those videos. Uh, what else am I going to be doing? Um, okay, there's also a challenge that I accepted from a buddy of mine and he's challenged me to run two speed sessions each week in the month of August. So Wade and Steve uh, were talking and they thought, you know, Steve said he, he wasn't too sure if I would accept it but I'm gonna accept it, right? I'm gonna accept the challenge. I'm already doing one speed session a week with my tempo run. Um, adding another one in on a Friday is not, uh, you know, it's not out. Not out uh, it sticks with my 80-20 rule, okay? I I've, I've, haven't really been doing 80-20 really. I've been doing more like 10-90. <laughs> so 
just because I wanted to get those longer runs in. But all that being said, right? So I'm gonna get out on the track, do some 800s, 400s. Uh, we're gonna see if uh, I can get my buddy Steve to, to film it. Um, we're just gonna do some cool things, right? We'll try to add that in. Now, I wouldn't recommend if you're starting out on math to do any of what I'm gonna do on those videos, okay? If you're just start, sorry about that. If you're just starting out, what I would recommend is just stay at math. Don't do any speed work at all for at least six months, right? Every run, make it at math. Build up that aerobic base. I've got a, I've, I've built up my aerobic base uh, quite a lot. Um, obviously, again, I'm, I'm a non-elite. Um, I plateaued a couple of times, which is why I added in the speed work. And according to, to Dr. Phil Maffetone in his book, Big Yellow Book, we all have it, right? If not, go get it, because it's an amazing book. Um, and he talks about at, when to add in some speed work, right? And it's usually, um, you know, when you start to plateau a little bit. So anyways, I've added um, some speed into my workouts, uh, my runs. I've also added trails into my runs as well, as you all know. So yeah, I'm an experiment uh, of one. I just want to see what all of this does. Um, now, the reason I did this, I'm accepting this challenge is because Steve wants to see if my math pace will increase or, or I will get faster even more, okay? So they've been very impressed, um, like <laughs> Wade and Steve, uh, so far with where I've been able to achieve. So they just wanna see, you know, can I take it to that next level, add in the speed sessions and drop it down even further? Like my buddy Steve, like he was able, I think he was able to do like five minute pace kilometer, like five, uh, yeah, five minute, uh, kilometer pace at a heart rate of 136 uh, when he was like in in good like good running performance shape so he wants to see if I can kind of get into that position as well I'm, I'm getting close I'm getting close but um, he just wants to see could I get there a little bit faster so anyways challenge accepted Steve I'm gonna do it now again, um, only, I'm only doing it because I've built up a base, right? I'm not, I don't plan on getting injured. It sticks with my plan, my 80-20, it sticks with that. So anyways, that's what's gonna happen. Now, today, what I, I have a tempo run planned for today, but I actually have to go to a town called Mitchell, Ontario, because I'm listing a house. So I'm listing a house in Mitchell, so I have to do some video of the town, uh, kind of a day in the life of, um, as if I live there because I put these these videos together for my real estate clients when when I list the house not everybody wants one but you know some people do so I'm putting one together for this one so I'm going to incorporate some running video into the real estate video and basically there's a bunch of trails down there that's really cool so I want to check them out today and I want to go run them so anyways that's what I'm doing today long-winded I know I'm out of here, I gotta go, I'm running late, and um, guess what? I'll see you in a couple hours. And we're here. On top for today is Tempo Run. Now I have never run in Mitchell before. I'm gonna wing it. It's heart rate. 158-ish. That's where we'll keep it. So let's go. Let's go run. Let's go run around town.
some questions that people have had in the last day or so I wanted to actually talk about. And one of them is when I started my whole math journey, what was it like? Was it hard? Was it frustrating? Did I have to walk a lot? Did I even run? Did I run up hills? What did I eat? Oh, a lot of things to think about. When I started, the only thing that I was concerned about was my heart rate. Keep my heart rate in my math zone. That's it. It's all that mattered. So, my advice to anybody is the following. If you have to walk, just walk, just walk, just walk. If you have to run for a minute and then walk for a minute, run for a minute, walk for a minute. That's what you got to do. Like there's no two ways to, you know, I mean, you can speed walk, right? You can whew, like go to town, right? Do your whole speed walking thing. Right? You can do that. Or you can run, walk, run, walk, run, walk. Now, if you're finding that you can't even run, it's like a shuffle. And I'm gonna show you what this shuffle looks like when, uh, when I start it. So let me just find a place to prop up the camera here and I'll show you. So I don't know if you can hear me, but I'm gonna yell nice and loud. This is how I would shuffle my way to getting faster, okay? Oh, yeah. Now I want you to watch. Baby steps, baby steps, baby steps, baby steps. Baby steps, baby steps, baby steps, baby steps. Just shuffle along, shuffle along, shuffle along. Keep it simple. Take a lot of steps, short, like your pace is slow. And that's how I shuffled for, for a while. But uh, over time, obviously, uh, I got faster and my stride, my form changed uh, for the better. And uh, it was great. So how are you gonna do when you start out on your math journey, it's, it's gonna be up to you guys. Like, everybody's different. The way you run and the way I run, it's gonna be totally different. Anybody starting out, buy the big yellow book. Phil's book is awesome. It's on the screen, go buy it. All right, that's number one. Number two, read it. I don't want you to just buy it. Look at that. I want you to read it. That's all I want you to do. And then when you finish reading it, start applying it, right? And by applying it, I mean take 180 minus your age. If you've been running for two years and you're not injured, add five. If you're just starting out, so keep it at 180 minus your age. If you're on medication, you may want to reduce that another five. All right? Every run that you run, keep it at math. No more, but you can go less. And you can actually go down another 10 beats, like I said once before. All right? Now, once you've established that, I want you to go find a track and run around a track. Do, do an hour. Right? I mean, that's what I did. 
I did an hour of running around a track. Now, the reason you want to run around a track is it's flat. It's circles. You don't have to worry about stopping, starting. You don't have to worry about, you know, cars going by, uh, people wanting to talk to you. Uh, just, yeah, you just want to go out and do that. Now, the other thing is, is you want to run in the same conditions, right? Do your test kind of around the same time. Well, that is a really good name for a street. Once a month, around a track, in the same conditions as much as possible. Obviously, it's gonna be hard. If you can do it inside, great. But if you're outside, just do your best. So, the wind, the temperature, the conditions like rain, like all these things will play a factor in how you do. Now, you also want to keep your stress level low, right? Like financial stress, crazy, right? Work stress, crazy, family life, crazy, right? Um, so you want to keep that as low as possible. And once you've established those, those things and you kind of mitigate them, you can try meditation, it helps, right? Just listen to some nice calming music, whatever works, go for a drive, go for a walk, get rid of the stress, but do your best. Now, every run that you do is gonna be in that zone, right? 10 beats. So take whatever your heart, like whatever your math is, your max, and then go down 10, that's your zone, right? That's what you wanna be in. And, and just every run, that's what you're gonna do. It's not, it's not, you know, the hard part is actually just doing it. Now, you also may want to take the two-week test. Um, and uh, Phil maftoni has got it in his book, right? Eliminating a lot of foods to figure out exactly what causes grief. And while you're doing this, you're going to be going through a fat burning um, experiment of one. Just so know, Just know that's going to happen. Now, you also want to I would recommend uh, reducing your portion size. A lot of us tend to eat way too much. When we get older, we don't need as much food. And we've got hundred thousands of calories on our bodies that we can burn ourselves, right? So just make sure you're taking you know, your electrolytes, right? You're not getting too dehydrated because the dehydrated you get, your heart rate goes up, all those things. So hopefully that helps. Just my message to all of the people who are just starting out, it's gonna be frustrating. It's gonna be times you wanna quit, just don't. Don't, don't, don't. Because the time that you wanna quit is the time that you're gonna have, probably have the best run. All right? That's my message, guys. So, tempo run is done for today. Time to go do some other shoots for my, uh, my listing. And uh, we'll be back later with another episode. Hope your training is going well. Take care, everyone.